in Division 1. It's not been the best start of the season, but still time to turn it around. Here's Ben Sayer. Oh, it's deflected. It's in. Ben Sayer's drive came off a Spartans man. It's been turned home by what looks like Michael Chilton. Clear. It's only as far as Damon Mullen. Morpeth have it on halfway. Chris Swales with a ball, looping ball around the corner, headed clear by Ryan Hutchinson. Damon Mullen with a delicate little chip towards Ben Sayre down the right flanks. Oh, that's a wonderful ball by Stephen Forster. And Michael Chilton makes it 2-0 to Morpeth Town. That's a wonderful finish by Michael Chilton, but the defence completely asleep there as the ball came over from the right. Michael Chilton with a wonderful first touch on his chest and then a deft lob over Adam McHugh who could do absolutely nothing about either goal. Completely let down by his defence there and Blythe have it all to do now. Campbell back to Hutchinson on the edge of his own area. Played to Michael Richardson. Nice little touch from him on the left. Lovely one too and again and Sean Reid now comes down the left hand side before stepping in. Beats Damon Mullen. Fancies a crack here it's... A team effort in the end from the edge of the area by Sean Reid. Bubbles comfortably into the hands of Carl Dryden. More positive from Blythe Spartans. They probably need something before half time just to give them a lift. There's plenty of time, of course, remaining. Ooh. Ooh, a little bit of contention again here as looks like Adam McHugh is going to be penalised for handling outside of the area. Is that why? It, that may be the case. Gavin Keynes is also back there and perhaps impeding Chilton, but it, I think it looks as though it might be for handling the ball outside of the area. It was perhaps a little close for Graydon's liking. There's a few still standing over the free kick. It may well be another one of Mortworth Town's set-piece takers who will step up to this one. Say a jog's away it will be. Keith Graydon right on the edge of the box Graydon it's saved by Adam McHugh low to his left hand side it was relatively close to the goalkeeper but he still had a job to do good opportunity now for Matty Patterson that cultured left boot it's an old cliche calling left boots cultured it's true you never hear it of a right boot but Matty Patterson's Favoured peg certainly fits the bill. Can he swing this into the top bin? Here is Patterson. He tries to play it low and it's very tame and it's straight into the wall. It's back with Patterson on the right-hand side. He tries to beat Sayre, but he can't get beyond the midfielder with his cross. He has, however, won a corner kick. Very pleased to hear the crowd despite being 2-0 down here, getting behind the Spartans as Patterson swings in. Sean Reid with a header. Just over the bar. Excellent turn and Robinson carries the ball away. Ben Sayer evades the challenge of Hutchinson, flicks it out wide, space here in the box for Luke Carr. Carr shuffles in, it's Luke Carr, it's 3-0. Morpeth Town have scored a third goal at Croft Park. Blythe Spartans FA Cup hopes falling apart in the early stages of the first half. Another devastating move from Morpeth. Adam McHugh launches it long. Stephen Turnbull has the ball now on the right. Looks to drop it off for Matty Patterson. Patterson, that's a death ball to the feet of Michael Richardson in the central area. He tries to dink it over for Maguire, but it's headed away by Reid only so far as Patterson, who swings a ball in and oh, it's inches wide from Sean Reid. Spartans have options on the bench, of course. Luke Armstrong and Zach Atkinson, both very promising young players. Armstrong in particular stood out in pre-season. Patterson does well to skip away from his man. It's played towards the back post. Richardson heads it back towards Maguire. Maguire... Two or three lovely touches and it's worked to Sean Reed and Sean Reed scoops it over the angle and now Stephen Turnbull lines up the free kick. You'll hear from him half time talking about his exquisite 
top corner free kick of Victoria Park, which helped to knock out Hartlepool United a couple of years ago in the FA Cup. Can he produce something similar? Here is Turnbull. Turnbull! The same top corner, but just half a yard or so over. Good effort from Stephen Turnbull. He's been one of the brighter players for Spartans this afternoon. Yes, Stephen Turnbull with the corner. Hutchinson can't quite get the head out, but it breaks for Hutchinson. It's blocked. Richardson blocked again. Back out to Stephen Turnbull. Chips it towards the middle, and there it is. It's Tom Maguire. <laughs> Blythe Spartans have a route back into this tie. Daniel Maguire pulls the goal back for Blythe Spartans. Stephen Turnbull dinks the ball back into the area at the second time of asking after Richardson and Hutchinson saw shots charged down and he floated it perfectly onto the head of Dan Maguire who gets his ninth of the season in all competitions that could well be the most important should Blythe Spartans get their way back into this swung in from the right and it's another good header and Sean Reid it bounces wide of the near post headed into the ground good effort from Sean Reid not far away from reducing the deficit to just the one goal. Find the feet of Say and Say. That's a wonderful through ball. And Michael Chilton on his hat trick. Strikes it straight at McHugh. And it's cleared high by Michael Little. And it's battling in the box between McHugh and Chilton. And McHugh goes to ground. And Spartans just about clear. Very nervy moments there for Blythe Spartans. That would have certainly killed this tie. Keynes and now Alex Nicholson has. A little bit of space if he wants to go down the right. Instead, he chooses to come inside and he could latch onto this. Alex Nicholson, they want a penalty, nothing given. And Luke Armstrong drives the ball off the legs of a Morpeth Town defender. Armstrong across, goal, it's in! It's an own goal! And Blythe Spartans are to within one goal of the visitors. This could be an incredible turnaround here. But Morpeth will be more than happy to wind the clock down now. They look as though they've just about won here at Croft Park. That 15 minute blitz at the start of the first half. Here come Morpeth now. And it's 4-2 Morpeth. The bench are absolutely ecstatic and so too are the players on the field. Strides into range then unleashes a low shot across goal into the bottom corner and that will surely be that for Blythe Spartans this season in the FA Cup so many bodies committed forward that it was always a possibility that Morpeth could catch them out at the other end and they did just that unfortunately and there's the final whistle full time here at Croft Park Blythe Spartans to Portsmouth Town 4.